What's up guys, today we're going to talk about async library uh, which is available on npm as async module. You can install it with npm install async. In the previous video we talked about callback hell problem and we solved it using naming our functions. So rather than passing those inline functions, we can define our functions and then pass those functions. Now in this video we will talk about the async library which uh, gives us a lot of utility methods and in this case we will be using waterfall method and we can achieve the same thing using the waterfall method what we have done in the previous video where we call the first endpoint and uh, when we get the response from the first uh, request we make another request and we call that request and when we get the response from the second request we fire another request so all these three requests execute in a sequence so First request 1 will be executed and if it's successful request 2 will be executed and if it's successful request 3 will be executed. So same thing we can do with async library and we will be using waterfall method of async and on the server side we have the same code so the same API is there. So let's just run the server so that we can use so I have already run it and now we can talk about async so here is the paid for async library and this is the docs so what we are interested in is waterfall method that is here so it says run the tasks array of functions in series so it takes an array which is an array of functions so it will execute those functions in series each passing their results to the next array in uh, next in the array so each function will pass some result to the next function in the array however if any of the tasks pass an error to their own callback the next function is not executed so if we pass any error then next function next callback will not be called and the main callback is immediately called with the error so let's see what it means in async terms so here we have a, a file called async.js we are uh, requiring that async module and we have async dot waterfall which takes an array of functions and the second argument is the callback which is the call main callback so this is called the main callback so in the first one we have a function called task one then the second argument of the array is task two and the third function is task three so if task one uh, executes first task one will be executed and if there is no error we will execute the task 2 and if there is no error then task 3 will be executed and if we pass uh, other than something null then that next uh, function will not be executed so if I pass something here which denotes a error then this function will not be executed and then this function will not be executed and immediately this function that main callback will be executed that's what it means when it says here in the docs uh, like however if any of the tasks pass an error to their own callback the next function is not executed and the main callback is immediately called with the error so let's just execute this uh, file and let's see the output what it prints so I'm just gonna clear the screen and let's run this file node async.js so it prints start which is the first line in that first function first function of the array then we have an async operation set timeout which will wait for five seconds and after that it will execute this function which will print t1 complete and then we are uh, we are signaling that there was no error and we are passing this value to the next callback this string as a value to the next callback and the next callback is this so uh, note that if we pass null it means no error and the next function will be executed if we pass other than null then that means there was some error and the next callback will not be executed and it will skip all these functions and this main callback will be called so it should print first start and then it will wait for five seconds then it will print t1 complete and it will call the next function and passing this value then this value will be printed now this uh, value will be passed as task1 result which is the result from task1 so this will print the value from task1 from this console log then we have to wait for at least one second and then we will print for t2 complete and then we are passing this value to the next uh, function which is uh, passing in the task2 result argument and then it will be printed 
and we are printing then t3 complete and we are passing null then it will call this uh, main callback and since there was no error so if there was error this will be called and if there was no error this will be called so it will print no error happen in any task all task done so let's see the output here now so it first prints start at we expect and then the t1 complete and then this value from task one is printed because of this console.log statement then we have t2 complete then t2 pass that value to t3 so it will be printed uh, value from task two and then t3 completes and there was no error so if we pass any error say anything so if i pass um, a string some error and now if I execute this you can see this error happened because after waiting for five seconds t1 complete was printed and then it saw okay there was some error then it skipped all this function task 2 and task 3 and it executed this one and error was there so it will throw an error here so that's what we got here in the console so t1 complete was printed start was printed and then the error was thrown so if any error happens it will immediately skip all these functions and call the main callback so i will just change back to null again and note that they all happen in sequence so task 2 will not be fired until task 1 is completed successfully or it throws an error and task 3 will not be fired unless until task 2 is completed or it fires an error in that case main callback will be called and we are able to pass values from the previous call, uh, callback to the next callback. That's important because in our scenario, when we have to call the next API endpoint, we will require the result from the first request. So this is required by passing values. And note that we can also pass the value from the last callback to the main callback. This is the main callback. So from last callback, we can also pass values. So if we pass something from null to here, then it will go, uh, get passed as a result in the second argument of this main callback which we will see in the async2.js file so in async2.js we are doing the same thing so we have a timeout and we are printing and then we have passing two values in this case so this will be arg1 and this array will be arg2 we are printing those then we are printing t2 complete and then we are passing this value and signaling that it was successful so there was no error so we are passing this value as task 2 result then we are printing that then we are printing t3 complete and there was no error so it was successful and this uh, object we are passing it as a result to the main callback so this result will be this json object a javascript object so this javascript object will be the value of result so if i execute this file async2.js so let's just clear it and execute async2.js so start and then it should print t1 complete then that value should be printed v1 and v2 then t2 complete and value should be printed and t3 complete and there was no error and this is the last uh, value that we passed from the last callback to the main callback so this is the last thing so we are printing that so this is how we can pass values and we can execute uh, async operation in sequence so now let's uh, get back to our problem that we were solving in the previous videos so here we have a async3 file so here we are using http uh, module and here we are doing a get request we could have used the request module so here I'm using http.get to make a get request to the endpoint and after uh, once it's successful we are uh, so if it's successful see uh, if uh, status code is less than 200 or greater than 299 it means it was not successful in that case we are passing an error so call back with new error so it will directly call this uh, main function main callback and if there was no error in that case we are passing null so when uh, all the response is received this event will be uh, fired and this callback will be executing and we are call uh, we are calling the next callback which is task 2 
and passing null so there was no error and the result from the first uh, request response so we are just printing that result from the first uh, request that we fire here and callback null which will call this uh, main callback since there was no error so it will print no error happen in any task all tasks done so let's execute this file async3.js so node async 3.js so start and data and no error happened so this is how uh, we expected it to run so we got uh, our request from the first uh, async uh, request so this was our endpoint request and we get this result now let's build on top of this example so we will add task 2 so we will add one more async operation here so it will call the next endpoint by uh, using the value that it received as arg1 from response of the first request so async4.js we use three functions so here is our first http get which is an async operation once it's completed uh, with no errors we are callbacking with null and there is passing the result uh, which is the uh, response from the first request which will be passed as argument one and then when argue uh, then we are firing another get request and there was no error if there is no error we are call uh, we are passing uh, null and this result from a uh, request two again this will call uh, this uh, function callback because they, we are passing null and if any error happens in all the cases we are uh, giving it uh, an error which will be called by uh, this main uh, callback so if any error happens we have to pass uh, the first argument to the callback as uh, error so in that case main callback will be called so in last uh, task 3 we are having a get request for the last endpoint and if it's successful uh, we are not passing any values to the main callback here we could have passed so we are just signifying there was no error and it will execute this and it will print no error happen in any task all tasks done so it will happen in sequence so task one will first execute and then task two and then task three when it's complete and this is how we want it to execute because our request depends on the response of the previous request so when uh, if we have to fire this iso country slash country name we have to first get the response from the first request so this waterfall method executes in uh, this way and this is how uh, we want it to execute so let's uh, run this file node async4.js and see what we got node async4.js start and response 1 response 2 and response 3 and there was no error so we got uh, the same thing uh, that what we expected so now let's just clean out this code a bit so we're gonna clean out this code in async5 so what we have done here is now we are using request so in the previous one we were using http module so that we had to uh, in that case we had to write a lot of code because as http is a low level api so we are here we are using request module and this uh, like we have to write less line of code and makes it easy to make http request we have talked about that in previous video so here we are firing that same thing uh, first ranking yeah api then iso api then the model api and if there was no error we are passing uh, we are calling the next callback with null and passing it the body and similarly if there was no error from the second uh, request we are passing null to the next callback and body so this uh, this task 3 is the last one and then we are passing null so this will just call this uh, next callback which is by passing error as null so there was no error and no error happened in any task all tasks done will be printed at the end so let's just uh, run this file to make sure it works the same way as the previous one that we used the http module so let's just run uh, async5 node async 5.js and we got the same response that what we have run from the previous uh, file async4.js so this cleans out the code a bit for us when we use the request uh, module so we can clean the code a more if we use the es6 uh, fat arrow function so we don't have to write functions and uh, function name so and this is supported in uh, node versions 
now uh, recent versions so you can use ES6 features and we will use the fat arrow features uh, fat arrow function feature of ES6 which is the most uh, widely used feature of ES6 so in the next one we will see how we can make uh, use no uh, fat arrow functions to clean out a code a, bore, a more so here we have so we remove the function and the name of the function and we just say the callback which will be this thing and then we use this uh, equal and right angle and then we specify our function the same thing and if any error happens we will call back with error if nothing happens we will the first argument will be null and the second argument will be the response from that request so in all these uh, functions we are using fat arrow function so we have removed the function and the name of the function and we will use that symbol this is the syntax for fat arrow function so if we execute now this file async 5 fat arrow function it will give us the same result so let's just run that so node async 5 fat arrow function async 5 fat arrow function so we get the same result so we can use this uh, syntax and mostly you will see uh, this syntax uh, is widely used now because this is supported uh, and this cleans out the code a bit and easy to read so this is how we can use async library it have a lot of other methods that we didn't talk about because for our current purpose we require just the waterfall method so but it have a lot of methods that are very useful and and one more important thing to note about that async does not use promises so it it is uses callback approach and uh, but still it uh, greatly simplifies your async operations and gives you a lot of utility methods that are very useful in writing very clean code so in the next video we will talk about promises hope you find it helpful